First there was the mobile phone, then the personal organizer. Now comes, you guessed it, the handheld computer phone. Although still in the design stage, these gadgets are being heralded as the big new development for the computer industry, with a vast potential market. The good news is, a British company, Scion, has an early lead in developing the technology. The not-so-good news is that Microsoft, the American computer giant, this week linked up with a leading U.S. mobile phone company to do battle with Scion. But Microsoft has its own problems. In a long-running court case, it faces damaging allegations about its aggressive treatment of competitors. So, can the Scion minnow take on the shock from Seattle? Here's Nils Blythe. One of the best young chess players in the world is a 14-year-old Londoner, Luke McShane. Like most top players, he practices face-to-face -face and on computers, or sometimes both at once. Scion, the portable computer maker, sponsor his career. And Scion's founder thinks that, like Luke, the business is coming into its own. People always say, when new technology evolves and new markets are evolving, oh, uh, that's a niche market and it's not going to develop into these major markets. Of course it does, and it, and it will. Scion's founder is South African by birth, but set up his business in London. The concept was created back in 1982 in a Greek restaurant over a lunch. Uh, he showed me some of what you can do with a Scion organizer, apart from playing chess. Can I just look at the sort of main headings that you've got here? Yes. Uh, so things like, I mean, you have here letters. Yes. So the, these are letters. These are that files that we know. This is the system screen. And these are a whole set of files. Now, uh, we've got here uh, my agenda. Uh, address your, book. Your diary for the yes. days. Yes. Uh, Didcot, which uh, I've got a home in Oxfordshire, so the travel timetables for that. Uh, and then it does a whole lot of other things. So you can manage all the information that you require in your business or executive or professional life. And you can correlate that and tie that and link that to all that information you deal with in your PC. David Potter's company has done well in handheld computers, but it remains a small business compared with the American computer giants. And that's exactly who they're now competing with. From its sprawling headquarters near Seattle, Microsoft dominate the world of desktop computing. Now they want to extend that to small handheld devices like the ones made by Scion. This is hugely significant for us. Uh, it's as important as the internet. It's one of the key areas that we're going to focus on. And that's because it brings together the world of business, the world of consumers, and it enables people to get what they want and when they want it. Without mobile devices, they won't be able to do that. In the offices of 20 years ago, you would have found a computer terminal linked up to a big machine somewhere else in the building a desk telephone wired up to the company switchboard. Nowadays, you can get a pocket computer that's more powerful than those old room-sized machines, and of course there's the ever-present mobile telephone. And many experts believe that the next significant development in information technology will be finding the best way to combine handheld computers with mobile telephones. We're at a watershed. We're at a point when mobile telephony is about to take over from the telephones that we've long known. We're going to see mobile phones become digital assistants that we use for everything we use our computers on our desks for. This is the beginning of the next phase in computing. Scion have formed a powerful alliance to exploit this new market. With the leading mobile phone makers, Nokia, Ericsson and Motorola, they formed a company called Symbian. It has a special technology, what they call an operating system designed to integrate the phone and computer. At the design company, which came up with the Scion organiser, they're reviewing some of the early attempts to put mobile phones together with computers. 
if you're looking up in your database the name and address of uh, the person you're wanting to contact and then you press phone, how you actually then, the ergonomic, the human factors are bringing it to, to your ears. Attaches from the, the new all-in-one computer phones will use the internet for email, phone. online commerce and entertainment. The partners in Symbian will all use the basic operating system which Cyan developed. It seems very large and quite bulky that uh, as phones are getting smaller and smaller we need to be following that trend really. I think yeah. the size is one of those compromises that it's hard to get around. <coughs> These also, fully integrated uh, devices have, have yet to reach the shops, but where it will eventually lead, well the imagination runs riot. In the latest Bond movie, Agent 007 is given a computer phone so sophisticated he can drive his car with it. Please fasten seatbelt. This is fiction, but the real-life business battle over the computer phones of the future is deadly serious. If further evidence was needed that the combination of mobile phones and computers is potentially big business, it comes from Bill Gates of Microsoft. In a recent internal memo, he identified five companies as key competitors for the future. Four of them are well-known computer groups in America. But the fifth is a company which has only just been formed. It is the software company put together by David Potter of Scion. This week, Bill Gates signalled a counter-attack on Scion and its partners in Symbian. Microsoft announced a tie-up with the American phone company Qualcomm to develop their own combination of computers and mobile phones. We have got a battle royal on our hands. In one corner, we've actually got the Europeans, Nokia, Ericsson, Zion, and all the people who are related to this European mobile telephony standard, which has got the world market. And in America, we have Microsoft and Qualcomm on their new alliance actually lining up to say, no, you're not going to have the future. The forthcoming battle may not require police intervention, but in a curious way, they are involved. Microsoft's great strength is its established position in computer software. In Derbyshire, the police already use handheld computers plugged into mobile phones to access the police national computer, and their choice of operating system is highly significant. They've chosen not Scion, but a version of the Microsoft Windows system which runs in most offices, Windows CE. Microsoft's Windows CE uh, is, is compatible with all our other systems. It's also used on a number of different computers, small handheld computers, which gives us wider choice. And wider choice also enables us to keep prices down. Microsoft think for all-in-one computer phones, customers will want a technology designed specifically to work with their desktop systems. And they say that gives them an advantage over Scion and its partners in Symbian. Symbian are going to have a pretty tough time. Uh, you've actually got three competitors that have been brought together in a company. So making decisions and developing products will be quite difficult for Symbian to do. Symbian is a competitor of ours, and they are competing in the mobile phone market. We believe that we have a better product with Windows CE. We believe that consumers will choose Windows CE. And the truth will be uh, in a couple of years' time when we find out how successful both products have been. I think we must be a little bit cautious about the uh, sense that uh, Microsoft is all-powerful. They're not all-powerful. They happen to own a monopoly on the desktop, that does not mean that that monopoly will move into your home in digital TV, for example, or will move into the mobile environment. In fact, when you think about it, it's extremely unlikely. <laughs> Nobody should ever underestimate Microsoft. Microsoft may tackle this wireless market. They may completely upset the world order. But the scale of this market outstrips anything that Microsoft has tackled before. A classic game of business strategy is being played out. Cyan and its partners have the early initiative. 
But as the world knows, Bill Gates and Microsoft are fiercely competitive. This is a battle they're determined to win. Nels Blythe reporting.